Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiasts. Today we're featuring a 2007 Volkswagen Touareg. It's a V6 all-wheel drive. So the Touareg's been a very uh, popular SUV for Volkswagen. It's on the same platform as the uh, Porsche Cayenne. They come in uh, three versions. They've got a V6, a V8, and a 10-cylinder TDI. This is a six-cylinder, so it gets a little better gas mileage. Uh, they've been very popular for their off-road ability and for their comfort and luxury. This is a clean title, clean Carfax car. It's got uh, it's got a bunch of equipment. It's got Xenon lights, as you can see there. It's also got upgraded wheels. Those are Porsche uh, center caps. I'm not sure if that's a Porsche wheel, but it's uh, definitely not the Touareg wheel. So silver, metallic silver exterior, which is in really, really clean shape. And uh, black leather interior. So these came out in uh, 2004, and uh, as I mentioned, they've been very popular. They're heavy, and so they do well in uh, bad weather, inclement conditions, you know, mud, snow, stuff like that. And they handle well. They're a very nice driving car. This has got a backup camera. Uh, you can see the lens right here. Uh, as I mentioned, it's the six-cylinder. It's super clean. So you can see the interior here is clean. You've got a uh, spare tire. So what's nice about the Touareg uh, that's a little different than your typical SUV is like if you're looking at um, an X5 or an X3, those are all-wheel drives, and uh, that means that it's a limited it's a limited ability car. So this has got a locking differential in it. It also has a low and a high range four-wheel drive. And that means you have the ability to um, use a much lower gear ratio to climb hills or to go down hills when you're dealing with snow or bad weather. And um, that's kind of what differentiates capable off-road or four-wheel drive vehicles from all-wheel drive. Is that an all-wheel drive, you're just stuck with what you got. So you can see it's very clean. So there's your trim package. It's got wood trim. It's got, uh, it's got manual seats in it, which is odd, but if you've ever sat in a Turig, they're super comfortable and super quiet. And as I mentioned, great handling cars. <clears throat> so we've got the mats for this. They're not in it because they're drying. We had them cleaned. So we've got two master keys for this. We have the um, original owner's manuals. Um, there's a uh, iPod cable in here. That's part of the stereo system they put in it. So, uh, as I mentioned earlier, so this is uh, high and low range, uh, and you've got a locking diff in here also. You've got heated mirrors, power mirrors. You have a Steptronic transmission, which is fairly common nowadays. Originally, European cars were the only ones to have them, and now you probably couldn't buy an automatic transmission without it. So, uh, turn the lights on here real quick. So, you've got dual auto climate control. You also have heated seats um, on both sides. And then as I mentioned, so they put this, um, it's a very nice Kenwood, it's a touchscreen interface. And um, you've got a ton of equipment on here. You've got a DVD player, you've got satellite radio, you've got a regular tuner, you've got your iPod, and you've got navigation, video capabilities. It's got Bluetooth, but I don't believe Bluetooth is activated. It's got a high resolution backup camera. So as you put that in, you can see the resolution, that's good. And then, um, navigation uh, so all that stuff it's nice it's a very nice stereo Kenwood uh, Kenwood is known for that I've seen a number of them uh, I had one in my old Land Cruiser uh, up here you've got uh, sunroof I'll just open that to show you that it works close it up you've got uh, a compass and external temperature gauge here as you can see the door trim is all very clean and uh, so you've got a multi-function steering wheel, you've got your ability to track through your onboard computer information, change your volume control. Uh, over here you've got cruise, you've got um, a manual tilt and telescoping wheel, intermittent lights, driving lights, fog lights. 82,956 miles and uh, on this. So anyways, uh, we like them. They're really comfortable. Uh, it's a ton of car for the money, 
and uh, it's also a car that you could put an extended warranty on uh, easily uh, only for about 2500 bucks uh, for four years 48,000 miles and we've got a great company that would deal with that so anyways yeah if you've got questions or would like additional information please feel free to contact us and we can be reached at 503-227-2354 thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast